Welcome to Indianapolis. The greatest race in college basketball here in the racing capital of the world. A year ago, this was taken from everybody across the world. I was really heartbroken. Being able to come back to March Madness, it's really special. We're all chomping at the bit to get this thing going. Wow, I'm really here now. We've waited two years for this. Here we go. Their first tournament victory in 38 years. The Mean Green Wrecking Machine. Sister Jean gets an extended stay in Indianapolis. Believe the unbelievable. How sweet it is for Syracuse. The upset makers are history makers. Arkansas has won. The Cougars are going to the Final Four. They are Bears. This unlikely run continues for UCLA. Gonzaga is unbeaten. The entire world's watching. And everyone's waiting for this. It's the final count. This is just a checkpoint. I think that we're pretty dangerous. This race they get the first. The goal's to win it all. 68 started, and we are now down to four. The final four. It's everything to me just making it this far. But we didn't come this far just to make it this far. It almost looked like final was in slow motion. It's the moments that nobody's watching and prepares them for the moments when everybody is. Can they do it? The dream is alive for Houston. A lot of people coach your entire career and never get to a final four. No, Speed's got to be right. Got to have enough gas in the tank. Defense by Jimmy. And Kennedy gets out and runs the court. What a move. History in the making. I think we have a really good shot of just grabbing that checker flag. I look at the guy next to me, and I know he's going to go to war with me. The finish line is in sight. Can't have anybody give it to us. We have to go out there and take it. There's only four cars on that track. It's anyone's ball game. Who will take the checker flag? Last four or five left to get to that finish line. Gentlemen, we're not finishing. Start your engines. Yes, indeed, start your engines because we are getting started in Circle City. In Indianapolis, it's a gorgeous day outside but inside. Lucas Oil Stadium is where you want to be because first up, Houston and Baylor in national semifinal game number one. The Houston Cougars take the court, the two seed and champions of the Midwest Regional, back in the Final Four for the first time since 1984. To take on Baylor, the one seed and champion of the South Regional with its win over Arkansas on Monday night. Here come the Bears. 26 and two. It's a Final Four that has, for the first time in the history of the tournament, four teams from west of the Mississippi. Hello, friends. I can't hardly contain it. Uh, all the excitement. Jim Nance, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wilson, Gene Steratore. Here we go, guys. It's been two years since we were at the Final Four, seeing Virginia tear down the nets after the overtime win against Texas Tech. And at long last, we're back, Grant. And we're reminded of how much we missed the Final Four. Jim, you know, a celebration of basketball excellence. My favorite day, Raph. Well, when you get to the age 50, as I have, it's been an eternity. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's great to be back with all of you. Let's talk about Game 1's matchup, the Baylor Bears. We're going to see two teams here that are very similar, their characteristics, guards and defense. But let's start with the guards and what Baylor does so effectively, Grant. And, Jim, a lot of teams are lucky to have one good guard. They have three dynamite explosive guards. Jared Butler can fill it up, plays great downhill in transition. And, of course, Mitchell, wow, don't blink. You'll miss him so fast, so explosive, great isolation. Also defends on the other end as well. And, of course, don't forget about T. He can knock down threes, elite himself. They have to have great guard play to win, and Baylor has three. Yes, they do. Houston has the same thing going for it. It's defense this year. Kelvin Sampson stressed it so much. You look at the categories, Raft, they're right there near the top in almost every single one of them. Other than the illustrious alumni, <laughs> outstanding defense, extraordinary. They just stop people. 
choked the offensive flow of any basketball team. Field goal percentage is incredible. Season points allowed, just amazing. Of course, they're throwing it down to 55.6. It is a struggle to score, and why not? Co-player of the year, Quentin Grimes shoots that basketball from deep. Valuable asset to have, and of course, Sasser V gets percolating. Uh, they will be smiling uh, down in Houston. And counter that to Jean Giraud. He wears you like an old suit, and I know you have a few of them. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so much fun to see it all settle. Two schools, two universities, 185 miles apart. You saw Scott Drew, Kelvin Sampson. We're getting ready to get things started in Indianapolis.